Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have an important update to relate to you. I've been given a lot of thought to what we are trying to do, the multifaceted work we are trying to do. And um, I believe there is a lot that is good that we can share. Just this morning, one of my colleagues, Nze Kenneth in Jocko, made a post, called my attention to it. Likely he wanted me to comment. And because he's one of the few persons, not one of the few because I actually respond to many people, but I responded to him. He wanted me to look at what could amount to an appropriation of a cultural motif of the Igbo people by another people. Anything related to the Hebrews, the Israelites, the Jews in Nigeria is exclusively believed to be part of the heritage of the Igbo people. The Igbo people have been called the Jews of Africa for over 350 years. During their most, ter most terrible experience, they were mocked as Jews of Africa. When they were suffering genocide, they were mocked as the Jews of Africa. So, for a non Igbo to take up anything associated, any identity associated with the Israelites, the Jews, the Hebrews, Sabbath, taking it up and working with it and benefiting from it is similar to a non Igbo benefiting from the identity of Biafra. This required critical thinking on my part. And I got back to our brother. I told him, Ken, don't be distracted. People had set up churches in Nigeria, non Igbos, and used names found in the Hebrew Bible to promote the churches. And Igbos happily went there and became the biggest donors. What I just described is similar to a non-Israelite inviting the Israelites of the Bible to come and learn the history and culture of the Israelites of the Bible from those non-Israelites. And this has happened before our very eyes. Igbos are supposed to teach Nigerians the Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament. But Igbos have not done that. So don't be distracted. What you are seeing is what you should be seeing. Because the Igbo society was fractured during colonial times. And what we are trying to do is to rebuild it, to reconstitute the nation. Now, we will get into the update that is very important. 20 years ago, before we began the work we are doing today, only very few Igbos would have noticed that the cultural appropri appropriation going on. But that today, we can find an Igbo becoming concerned when a non Igbo begins to use terms like Biblical Ruben, Biblical Judah, 
biblical God, biblical Zebulon, Lev Levite, shows the bulls are waking up. And by the way, how many people do you need to rebuild a nation? Precious few. You don't need the whole world to come together and rebuild the nation. What you need is a faithful core group. Believers, people who will be ready to maintain action in the face of adverse conditions. And this group has, by the grace of the almighty Chuk, arisen. We have done the needful and God has come to our rescue. We wrote down authentic Igbo history. I seem to be prescient. Anti-Semitism and sex. Think about the news. Think about the news since October. Written on almost all aspects of our culture. Written on almost all aspects of our history. And it has been incontrovertible so far that try as hard as you can, you cannot trace the evils back to anywhere other than biblical Israel. And then, the nation builders have come up and they are using this authentic history and called authentic history that we have documented to rejig, to rebuild, to restructure the sunken foundations of the Igbo people. And Igbos will rise again. Everybody associated with Igbos will rise again by the grace of God. We see rising in the African American community. We see rising in the Caribbean community. The Igbo elements there are saying, wait, we want to go back to being who our ancestors are or where. I wish this was pan wine, the only liquor produced in biblical Israel. We can't have pan wine, so we have sizzling, fizzy water. But it will do the job while we continue to engage. And my good friends, before passing, before stopping for the day, I'm wishing you Shabbat Shalom. If you can get this anti Semitism and Ebophobia, please try to. We are going to defeat anti Semitism. If we don't, after finishing with the people of Israel in all their manifestations, it will manifest in other forms and continue to torment humanity. So all people of goodwill should rally around and let us fight hate. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you after the Shabbat.